Good morning, everyone. I know I look like morning, but it's currently 6.03 a.m. I woke up at 5 this morning, and I um just meditated on God's Word. And so I just got out of meditation. <laughs> it's um, currently my status, but good morning. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I was meditating about as I was um, in the meditation with God. And I'll read it here. And it's a very common, common scripture. Um, it's Jeremiah 29 and 11, um, all the way through 14. It says, for I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me. And when ye shall search for me with all your heart, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will and I will turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all nations. And from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord, and I will bring you again into the place once I cause you to be carried away captive. Amen. And that one is so profound. Um, the whole scripture that I just read is just so profound to me. But the thing that stuck out to me the most is, um, well, actually a few things, but my main thing that I meditated on because right now I am dealing with um, just the issue of like for one I be thinking that God doesn't think proper good thoughts about me just because my actions just because um, things that I'm not doing all that he's called me to do um, and so and I'm always like where if someone else is thinking um good thoughts or anything about me because I never want to be I never want people to think bad of me personally but God is bringing me out of that um I think it's just because growing up I feel like people always thought the worst things of me and I'm like that's not me but and so now it's like I know that I tried to like prove that that's not me um but I'm no longer doing that and so as I was meditating um, I realized that God never thinks evil of his children. I even wrote me a little note that said, um, my father thinks good thoughts about me and not evil ones. And it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about me because my daddy hears me. And that's just simply saying that because God thinks good of me, who cares what anybody else thinks about me? Who cares if someone thinks that I'm a bad person? Who cares if someone that saw these things and character is important but know that majority is knowing you and seeing that light of God in you and you know that you're not evil or mean um, then there's nothing that you can really do you can't change people's mind about you you can't change their thoughts or anything um, so yeah that's just that's just what I mean yeah, so a few days ago, because I was like, I have to do better. Because usually I just wake up and I have to hurry up and get ready for work. I have to get up and take a shower. I do like a little prayer like, oh, geez, thank you for waking me up. Like something very basic. And I really don't like that because I really love spending time with Jesus. And I love to um, talk to him and have time for him, especially in the mornings. Um but throughout the day as well. But I work so much. I work two jobs, which you'll see today. And I work two jobs. So it's it's basically like I try to um I try to get as much time in as needed because I don't really have much time to do anything. And I was like, Oh Jesus and I just I feel so bad when I wake up and I don't have like time with God. Like I wake up shower drink my coffee and literally have to go to work like I, I I personally hate that when that happens so um I really like to spend time with God 
And so I said, I have to do better. So I made this whole morning routine thing for when I do wake up. And I'm going to just read it. Well, I'll just show you. Well, one second. Okay. I'll put like a picture of it on the thing. But I'm going to just read out what I have. Today I was a little bit behind, but I'm I'm kind of on time because it's just 613 now. And um and I can I can kind of pick up. So at 5 a.m. I got wake up and thank Jesus and drink some water. At 5 15, I got read my Bible over and over if I need to. Like if it's just it can be something as simple as a scripture. That scripture that I showed you is so common. We say it so lightly, but I read it over and over and over. Um, at 545, meditate on what I read and how it applies to my life. Um, and then by 615, I go shower, wash up. 635, pray and declare a great day with blessings. Um, 645, drink coffee. 650, reread the scriptures I read and write any questions or notes that I have just concerning it. Because by the time you keep meditating on it, um, at least for me, it took a while for me to personally have questions with anything. Um, it literally does. Like, I always used to hate being in class and then the teacher would be like, any questions? And I would, like, just say I didn't have the best grade in that class. My mom would be like, girl, you going to that school? Like, you're not asking questions. That's your problem. My questions and stuff doesn't come up immediately for me. And if you're like that, just give your time, give yourself time to meditate on the assignment, what it is, what you read, what you went over. And this, this applies to not only the Bible, but like notes in school and stuff. Like me personally, my questions just don't come up like other people's. Um, or even my notes, I have to keep meditating and just reading on it. So if you do that, just give yourself grace. Because I had to give myself grace. I used to hate that. I used to ask questions because my mom was like, and I'm going to make sure that you're asking questions. So I would ask questions to things that I already knew. And it, it, it's not helpful, you know, because you already know it. So um, at 6.50, I got that. And at 7.20, I have I eat. That's if I want to eat. And then by 7.30, 7.45, I need to be leaving for work. Um, and the reason why... It's because I stay about like 30 minutes away from my actual job. So I need to be leaving for work around then. 20 to 30 minutes just depending on traffic. Um, I mean, this is California. I feel like anywhere you go is going to be <laughs> about that time. Um, and then also at the bottom, I have throughout the day, meditate on the word and ask God to reveal revelation concerning that word. Also ask God to reveal himself to you. And that just helps you keep in mind of, like, even throughout your day, no matter how busy it is, just remember that, like, you know, just keep keeping God on your mind. And that's one thing I can say. I don't really ever have a problem with this. I'm always constantly thinking about God and how I can do better or just uh, what he wants to reveal to me. But right now, the time is 6.16. I'm, like, one minute behind. But uh, also, I want to give you guys a tip. So personally, when I meditate, or just in general, if I'm sitting in with God and I don't want to fall on songs, because I meditate through songs too. So like when songs come on, like I'm a meditating person. Um, so if I just need, I need a clear mind of meditation. I personally love, love, love. Dappy Keys. I don't know if anybody watch him. It's Dappy T Keys. Let me try to go back. Dappy T Keys, if you can see it there. And oh my god, just he he does piano. Um he puts instrumentals together. And he's a Christian artist and he literally just have like three hour, four hour um meditation instrumentals on youtube if they'll play all night i mean there's three or four hours this one is i think like three hours yeah but i put it on like i put it on when i went to meditate um i was listening to gospel as i was reading my bible 
and then I went here to meditate. Um, but that's just something that you could do, like, just to kind of help you out if you want, just to, uh, if you don't know, like, what to listen to. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm just washing up. Um, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I do this. So I have my vitamins in the bathroom with me, and I have it on my shelf, and I eat my vitamins for the day. I personally love this car. It's my Bible. And then I go in and start the. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, you can see my skin here. Can you see? That's good. Like, I'm breaking out a little bit right there, so just ignore that. It's usually better, but it is good. <laughs> Y'all, change your plans. Co-worker of mine is going through a lot, and she needs me to pick her up for work. And she lives on the other side. And so I need to leave now because that's about 30 minutes. Just getting to her. And then coming back and then work starts in like an hour and a half. But I'm about to drink some coffee. And I don't really want to like drink it on the way. Because I don't have like a closed top coffee. I don't have an open mug. And I hate like drinking that in my car. Because I don't want it to spill on the way anywhere. So I'm going to go get my coffee. Then I'm going to head out. By the way, I know with this on, it looks like. Oh, your hair is done on in there, girl. Like, you had to wrap it. I did have to wrap it because we have to protect our hair. But let me show you what's up in here. Oh, my God. I did tie the knot really tight. It kind of messed up this morning before I started reading my Bible. So. Boom. You see? Still, it's, it's just two braids. You have two, not even braids, they're twists. I don't know how to braid. I want to learn, but they're just two twists. Going back, and um, and yeah, they're just two twists going back. So, this sometimes gotta say you can't stick to the plan, okay? Um, but yeah, let me hurry because I want to leave out of here no later than seven twenty, and it was really cold this morning, so I thought I gotta defrost my car. Um, but for the most part, it's seven o'clock. Wrong time. Um, I got reread the scriptures. I am actually about to do that. Um, reread what I wrote. I mean, reread what I was meditating on, and then you're gonna see me make my coffee, and I'm gonna be out the door. Guys, before I make my coffee, there's something else that like I don't feel like a lot of people talk about, but I think it's essential. So my parents used to always make us annoy ourselves every day, uh, no matter where we went. I know it's your car, I know everything. This is Hill and All, my Hill and All. Um, we get one on New Year's service. If you don't have Hill and All, um, my, my prophet basically, he announces when to bring oil, and we bring oil, Jesus blesses it, and then done. At my first church, we used to bring oil anytime, and you just give it to the pastor, he'll pray over it. So, whichever one works for you um do that um i would recommend going to your pastor or someone who's a fire power at the church they can pray over your oil if you don't have it right now go get you some oil but i just did this just, 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 just. and then we do our feet <laughs> we do our feet but um yeah so if you don't have healing oil go get healing oil you need it I used my mug yesterday, but it's okay. Hello. I'm about to 
to be for work. Y'all, this morning guy is literally full of himself, which I love. <laughs> literally i'm leaving early because i told you that my co-worker needed me to pick her up for work because she was going through a lot <clears throat> and then that was my sister that you just seen on the phone <laughs> that was my music i got in my car um that was my sister who was just on the phone and she called me to read to talk about the bible and i'm like it's just so um it's just so crazy to me that like God has everything strategically planned. And I always say like God is very strategic. He's just, he's just is. I don't know if I want to take the highway or not. I could take the highway. Taking the highway is quicker. I'm going to just take it. Because I don't know if I want to get there that early. They say I should make it about... 745 that's pretty good because i may stop and get me a sandwich because i was not able to eat my bagel i don't know though we'll see um and the reason why i say god is strategic i never eat lunch on my first job but they be like april you don't want anything you don't want about no like i i just don't like that's just not me so yesterday i legit was like okay i work both jobs i'm not gonna come back home after work i'm just gonna go to my other job or whatever but I'm gonna need to eat lunch, something that's gonna hold me for the whole night. I cooked dinner last night, so that can be my dinner tonight. But I literally packed my lunch. And I was thinking like, I can just do it in the morning. But like, no, I just literally did it last night. And so I just feel like God is so strategic in that way because it's like, what if I would have had to do it this morning, which it wouldn't have took me long because it's a sandwich, yogurt, and three oranges. But at the same time, it's like that would have been time wasted. Like I'm wasting time just in here now. <laughs> no, no, but it just, you know, like he knew that I was going to have to leave to go pick up someone and just, you know, go on to work. I'm at work a little bit earlier. <laughs> I'm going to be at work a little bit early. Only because like this morning I really wanted to make me a bagel. But I guess I'll just show y'all how I make my bagel in my next vlog. But, um yeah guys so always when duty calls <clears throat> that's why you have to be very intentional with god because he will put stuff in your way and then if you don't do it sometimes it's a test sometimes i'm not saying that this is a test but sometimes he'll put things in your way and you know you'll be like oh i don't really have time to do that i just had to rush out i had to do this but it's like okay well then how can God use you to help other people? You know, it's just like, sometimes you just have to make time and God will fill your days for you. So, um, I never know what time we're getting off at my first job. I never know the time, like, ever know what time we're getting off. So I'm praying that we get off in time for my next job. I go to my next job at 545, but I'm pretty sure we would. Um, <coughs> but yeah, guys, so, Right now, I'm just getting on the highway, the freeway, whatever. This sun is loving me. Okay. I'm always so kissed by the sun. Always. Y'all, Jesus, he will test you. So, you know how I left my home early? And I was not able to make my bagel, so I just stopped by McDonald's and got my free biscuit. Because if y'all rack those points, you get free food, just saying. Anyway, stop by the McDonald's, get my free biscuit. And then I was like, I'm going to just go pick up Wendy. I text her. She literally just texted me, oh, I called Jenny because I didn't hear back from you. And um, so she's coming to pick me up. I said, are you kidding me? I said, I literally left my home early. I told you I stay so like you know like far away like you know it feels like okay we was going to the same place but it's like I could have made my bagel I didn't have to rush out the door so it 
I don't know. It just kind of like, mm, kind of rubbed me the wrong way, you know? So I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, you're kidding me, right? And it's just, you know, when I, st when I say that our Father in heaven will test you, guys, he will test you. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I really passed the test this time. <laughs> but I wasn't like rude, but at the same time, it's like, I mean, think of how much of an inconvenience that is for me. And you saying like, I didn't respond and I did, like literally. You see it on your phone. And my, my phone says it delivered, cause you know when it's blue and blue, it shows you when it delivered. Y'all, it's the next day. I'm on my way to work again. I'm so sorry. I was not able to vlog my day um, at work. It's just both jobs. You know, like the day that you decide to vlog would be the day that you really can't vlog. <laughs> um, but just to say, uh, I had an overall great day. God truly showed up and out. Okay. he. Um, I'm literally on my way to work. But like I told you, I clean houses. So don't like be like a family because... You can't really be trying to cute, be cute cleaning houses. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody cute when they clean houses. <laughs> but, um, uh, just an update on the friend that I told you guys that wanted me to come pick her up, but didn't. Um, I really felt like God was, like, putting her on my heart. And I was just so annoyed with her. Not, like, just being real. But God, when he says move and do something, nevertheless you do it so he told me he was like i need you to um basically like go like i need you to speak to her so i spoke to her she was like i almost got hit by a car she was just like laying all this stuff on me and i told her i was like well you know jesus loves you she was telling me how she don't really believe there is a god because she's just going through so much and i was just telling her like no don't say that you know um i i help her a few times when it comes to just her faith and I understand that everybody guys understand that everybody is not like on your level of knowing Jesus there's a difference to believing Jesus and knowing in Jesus uh, when you just believe in Jesus you can be swayed it's kind of like the best man will win but when you know Jesus it's like no I've been counting him I know him I know he's alive you know not just because somebody told me not just because like I know him so I understand that she's not in the knowing yet so I'm um, like growing her in that but also I'm, I'm gonna ask her to go to church with me tonight um just so we can go ahead and uh because you know she needs deliverance and everything so i'm gonna ask her to go to church with me um and i know that god will touch her there um but yeah guys so um literally i'm on my way to pick her up again you remember i said yesterday she basically was telling me um yesterday she was basically telling me like she didn't know if i should pick her up like she had got somebody else to pick her up or something like that and you remember i did not like it i was like mm, i don't like that um but at the end of the day i'm gonna pick her up today my sister was like you're really nice april you're really nice but i'm like she has nowhere to go no place to stay like she barely could afford her room last night so i'm just going out here um i always say lord let others see you through me. So, how can I ask him for, oh, Jesus, 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 I cannot see. How can I ask him for that demand if I'm not gonna um, act as him, you know, so. But yeah, guys, it is the next day. Um, God is so good, he's so gracious. I don't stand before you perfect. I just stand before you knowing and loving Jesus. I always remember we serve a beautiful, beautiful God. Um, I'm about to start a podcast, so make sure that you subscribe, and I'll put all the details and everything uh, once I get them. You know, so um, I always do what God has called you to do. If God is placing someone on your heart, um, just go ahead and call that person, text that person, make sure that they're okay. Like, literally, I was at work. God kept placing her on <laughs> y'all i'm sorry but the sun is in everybody's light and it's like traffic is really bad but um if god is placing someone on your heart 
just go ahead and reach out to them. I was literally at work, working. I was like, let me just test her. My manager caught me testing, but she made a joke out of it, you know. I don't know. I didn't care. But, um, but yeah, guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm really, really sorry that, like, I did not vlog the whole day. But I will do another, like, work vlog and just a uh, vlog. This one is mainly me talking, and I want most of my videos to be of me talking. Uh, I, I like to hear, oh, Jesus, is this right? I like to hear voices. Did something come down on me? Is it raining right now? No, I don't know what that was. But God is good, and he loves you. He loves me. Let's let's bring more souls to his kingdom. Amen. Bye.